Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is this. This is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Sexer. This is in the old formula. The shade did not make it over to the new formula. Uh, I picked this for my project pan and I've been using it and I've been really enjoying how pretty it is and I just really like the formula. So because they're discontinuing it, I did actually pick up a full size of this before they all disappeared. Uh, I know that's maybe not in the spirit of project panning, but what it did was it reminded me how much I really like this lipstick and that when it's gone, I'm going to miss it. So I did pick up another one, but you'll be happy to hear I use a lot of other stuff and now on to the video so today's video is my first project pan for 2018 update so I started on January 1st doing my project pans I picked out 18 products to use up this year in 2018 so I've actually made a lot of progress on some things not so much on some others but I actually finally am at a point where I felt like it would be worth filming a video because you could actually see that something had happened didn't want it to be boring and like checking in after a month and be like look I didn't use this <laughs> kind of a situation so there's actual progress today so let's get started so I don't think these are in exactly the same order as the previous one but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where I'm at now with the new product and then I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison with a photo of where we were when I started the year and where we are now so the first product is this this is the makeup forever step one smoothing primer so this was about two-thirds full when I started at the beginning of January at this point there's still a little bit of product right here at the end I'm estimating it's probably gonna take me another month or so to use this just because I don't use this primer every single day I don't use it with every single foundation but I do know that this is going to get used up pretty soon so I'm excited about that and when this one goes I'm going to add a different primer to the project pan next up this is the Kat Von D lock it setting powder in the shade translucent so for this guy if I was using it based on this label so if you turn to the side you can see how much of the product has disappeared at this point so I have definitely used a ton of powder while I've been here in Florida because I'm really sweaty and I have to keep reapplying my makeup because it has SPF in it and then repowdering my face. So we're making some serious progress on this guy. So I'm very pleased about that. And next we're going to take a look at my Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Party. That's with three A's at the beginning. So I have been working on this blush very diligently because I just want to use it up. So this one is the most obvious amount of progress. So look at that. You can actually see pan. I'm very excited about that. I will be honest that I did drop this and so it broke and I had to repress it, but I didn't lose any product when I repressed it. It was still inside the container, but um, I did have to repress it, which is why it looks a little bit different certainly than the last time. However, I have been using it pretty much constantly. Um, I've only swapped out for a different blush, I think a maybe three or four times since the beginning of the year because I really want to just use this up. I don't think it's a bad blush. I think it's fine. Um, it's kind of boring to be honest. It's not my favorite color um, and I'll just be happy to use it because I, I can tell that if I keep using it because I've been using it for my stage makeup, it's going to go pretty quickly. So lots of progress here on this blush. Next up, we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the liquid formula. This is in the shade Opal. I have used this a bit. I can't say that I've used a ton of it. Um, it's definitely worked its way down a little bit more, but this one I still need to use this a little bit more. I haven't really needed to use it because I'm getting enough shimmer just being my own self with my oily face. So I haven't used this product as much as I could have, um, but it is still a nice product. I do like it. I also pulled in a mini size of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal as well. Um, this one I have repressed previously, so it is a little bit falling apart. However, I feel like I'm making some progress on it. Um, it's not my favorite highlighter, and I don't actually wear it by itself. I tend to layer this with something else, so I don't dislike the way this highlighter is looking, but at the same time, it's just not my favorite. I'll be happy when this one gets used up. Next up for highlighters, we have the Huda Beauty Summer Highlighter Palette. This is the Summer Solstice Edition. So I was mainly trying to use up Saint Tropez, which is that gold cream shade up here, because it is a cream shade, and I find that cream shades for me go bad a lot faster. So you can see I have definitely taken a good chunk out of it. I am trying to use it up, but I would like to use the whole palette. I actually really enjoy using this shade down here, Mykonos, as an eyeshadow. Um, this is a good blush topper, um, but unfortunately, Malibu is just not a good shade for me. Like, it, it just doesn't look nice. I mean, it's okay as an eyeshadow, but as a highlighter, I really don't like it. So, there you can sort of see the progress I've made. I am making a dent in this, but, you know, it's slow going. 
So I do intend to try to use as much of this gold shade as possible, but I ultimately think when I get tired of it or by the end of this year, if this isn't used up, I think I'm just gonna depot the shades I actually like, which are these two, and I'll put them somewhere else because as a whole, this palette's just not the best and it doesn't have a mirror. And I've just learned that I don't really like the cream formula for Huda Beauty. I think it's, you know, it works for people. It doesn't, it's not even though it looks bad. I just don't like applying it. So I shouldn't buy highlighters I don't like. Next we have my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Single. This is in the shade Scratch. So I wouldn't say there's a lot. You can really tell that I've used up too much of it. I have been using it. It is a very pretty color. Um, it's just, it's a very light pink foily finish. So it's very beautiful, but it's, it's a certain kind of look. And it's not the look I'm normally doing. So while I am wearing it today, like in the middle of my lid and I do like it, um, it's a good like accent color, but if it's not in the color scheme I'm going for, I don't always use it. But it is reminding me, it is a good eyeshadow formula. I do like Urban Decay eyeshadow a lot. Um, it might just be I need to put it into a palette with other stuff, because otherwise I don't pay that much attention to this. Moving on to my Too Faced Mini Chocolate Bar. I really feel like there's a lot of progress being made on this guy. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a divot. <laughs> In champagne truffle I feel like I must be getting close to pan based on like the cleanliness of that line I feel like I must be getting close there because there's definitely like a divot in all of them but like that's a very straight line that I was not expecting so I'm hoping I'm really close on champagne truffle I really just enjoy this palette I find this is very easy to use it's very forgiving it blends very easily um, so I do really like this formula I will probably want to pick up a full size once I use this little guy up, but obviously this guy's taken me forever to get through, so I mean, I am very impressed with it because it's very forgiving. That's the thing about this. This eyeshadow is very forgiving. If you make a mistake, you can fix it pretty easily. I have some other eyeshadow palettes. If you make a mistake, it looks bad. <laughs> like there is, um, there's one particular shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture, Rowdy, that I can't get to work. It looks terrible on me no matter what I do. I still really like that palette, even though it is a little bit of a difficult palette, but that shade in particular, nope, can't get it to work. Um, but like this palette, even the dark brown, which is not that it's super dark, but even that dark brown, I can't really mess that up. It just looks good. So I really do enjoy this palette a lot. And now onto the perfume. I picked sort of a bigger size of the Atelier Cologne uh, Clementine California. Um, if you could see it before, it was right, it's kind of hard to tell, but I basically had used it, it was right to the very tip of the metal on the spring. So I have used it like three or four times and it has slowly been going down. So I do feel like by the end of the year, this is definitely gonna get used up. However, I mean, it's slow going. I don't wear perfume every day, but I am glad that I you know, made a commitment. I'm going to try to use these perfumes up and I do think that's gonna happen. Similarly, this is a mini of the Kat Von D Sinner perfume. When we started this, it was at the top of the skull, and now we are at the bottom of that skull. So I have used this a couple of times, but again, you know, I don't use perfume every day, so I have to remember to use it. But because they are here and I did bring them with me, I have been using them every once in a while. I feel confident they're going to get used up. Next we have my Mascara Duo. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash, which I have been pairing with the CoverGirl Peacock Flare. This is a really good mascara for separating your lashes, but I don't find it makes them particularly voluminous, but uh, this does, so I put them together. Uh, this is going strong. Uh, this guy's just about out. I'm pretty sure in another couple of weeks I'm not gonna get any more product with this. It still worked today. I was not quite sure how it was doing, um, but I know this is almost done, so I'm hoping by the end of March this guy's gonna be completely kicked. Similarly, this Mad Max Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. I am shocked that this still works. I would expect it to be dried out by now, but it's not. It's still going strong, um, and I just really like this eyeliner. So when I do run out of this, I will definitely buy another one. This is a great eyeliner. This guy, on the other hand, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Uzi. I don't like this eyeliner anymore. It's also a little bit older, so it's getting a little harder, and it sort of tugs on my lid, and I hate using it. <laughs> I really do. I have other Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencils that work a lot better than this one. I don't like this. Every time I put it on, I don't like the way it looks. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna toss this because I think it's just done. So I picked a different eye product to use instead. So this is out. We're no longer going to compare it against anything. We're gonna swap in this. This is a mini size of the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Smoky Storm. So um, I use this a lot. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where I'm at on it, but uh, basically it's it's a really beautiful like a uh, glitter eyeshadow. And I do use this at least twice a week, so I feel like I can make a lot of progress on this. So that's my plan instead. We're swapping out that Uzi eyeliner for this Stila just because I don't like this at all. And I don't want to force myself to use it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> Next we have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Crayon. This is in the shade Rose Gold. I'm gonna pull this up the whole way so you can see. I have been using it, but um, I just can't say it's my favorite really. Um, it's, it's fine. It's a perfectly good cream eyeshadow. I don't find that I have a good track record with getting it to work with things. It doesn't play well with others. It's fine by itself, but this is really like a highlight shade. So I think I would need another cream eyeshadow in a darker color to make a good eye look that I like. So this just isn't necessarily working that well for me, um, but I do use it as an inner corner highlighter, like to do the brow bone. It's just gonna take a lot longer to use this guy up, unfortunately. Now moving on to lip products, the last few things. So first I have a mini size of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Roxy. Uh, I'm still getting pretty good coverage on this, it's just I have to dip in a little bit more in order to cover my whole lips. It's no longer just one swipe in order to get a coat. So uh, this is definitely running low. I'm hoping in another month or so we're really gonna be able to see progress in the bottle. So it's, it's coming to the end, I can definitely tell that. So I am glad I'm actually getting use out of it before it dries up. And then we have the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick, the old formula in the shade Sexer. So that's what I talked about at the beginning. So this is where we are on that. It's funny how little lipstick actually gets used, even though I've been using the lipstick a lot. It's hard to use up a bullet lipstick, I have found. Uh, but I am enjoying using the color. I just think it's so beautiful. And it has this really beautiful iridescent shimmer that's not necessarily visible on camera. But like in person, I just, I just love this lipstick. And last we have the Givenchy Perfect Pink. This is a lip balm and this is where I'm at here so I've definitely taken a little divot out of it. This is one of those color change lip balms that you put it on. It's supposed to make like a nice pink on your lips. A pink that is tailored to you and your skin tone. Whether it does that or not I'm not so sure. But it is a nice lip balm and my lips were very very dry when I first got down here because it's hot down here. So uh, I, this one's really nice to use. I don't use it every day because it is kind of boring for me. But at night when like my lips were chapped I'd put this on. So I have been using this. I do enjoy it. I would not purchase a full size of this. It's nice that I have the sample though. It's a nice sample. So that is it. That's the update on the Project Pan so far. Hopefully I'll have another update soon. I'm probably going to do the next one in the beginning of April, so like six weeks or so from now, just because I don't know that I'll necessarily make enough uh, a dent in anything else that it will be visible before then. But I feel like, you know, things are going well. And if something gets used up in the meantime, I'm going to add something else to the Project Pan. I feel like it's good for me to continue to have stuff to use up. So let's see how that goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you all soon. Bye.